slightly weak set of numbers that we have seen. The profits have dipped by 57%. Uh, margins have increased and come in at 7.6% versus 6.2%. Uh, uh, the top line is also down 31%. Uh, firstly, if you could just tell us what's the reason for the weakness in terms of the top line and bottom line are concerned. And secondly, what has led to the margin growth? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, basically, uh, this is not Q3 for us. This is the last quarter, a uh, year in this December. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Ramnath, please go on. What's the, yeah. My question to you was, what's, what has led to the yeah. weakness in terms of the top line as well as bottom line? And yeah, secondly, what, is the reason, what has led to the jump in margins? Yeah, the jump in margins is because of the, the kind of projects that we are executing. Basically, the improvement is margins are expected. First and foremost, in our line of business, people should not compare quarter-on-quarter -quarter performance. It could mislead. So, first of all, our revenues are lower in that quarter because some progress, uh, projects which last year were uh, performing uh, very high. Last quarter of last year, 15 December, comparable quarter, we had about 1,000 crores revenues. This quarter, we had a lower revenue. That is because of the way projects moved, actually. Our order book has actually grown by 27% in December. We are at 6,600 crores. We also have an L1 status on a contract worth 1,700 crores, which we are hopeful of getting converted into an award by March. So I think on an overall basis, we are on a good footing. Our margins are improving. I think this year we'll see better margins. Our debt is coming down. Balance sheet improvements are very visible. So I think overall, I think we are doing uh, quite well. Yes, on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, you cannot compare. Uh, uh, in, in 16, actually, we could not uh, improve our revenues much. Uh, there has been only a very marginal 20 crore increase in the consolidated revenues in comparison with 2015 year. That is because uh, some of the awards that we got uh, in, was in the latter half of last year, that is uh, July to December. And had some of these contracts uh, come earlier, uh, we could have uh, 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 obtained some revenues out of those new awards. I think uh, going forward, I think we are on a stronger wicket than we were earlier. Right both in terms of balance sheet, uh, value, quality of order flows, and margins. Mr. Ramnath, in terms of the order book, as you mentioned, little lower than 6,600 crores so far. Uh, what's the, and you've said that the executable uh, over a period of around 25 months, how much of it will be recognized in the fourth quarter, and how much will go through in terms of where FI18 is concerned? Yeah, I told you again, our year in this December, we are, not, we are already completed. The results that we gave, this for the year 2016. It is not a file, it's calendar year for us. So, whatever revenues we have reported for the full year 12 months, of, uh, that is our close of uh, December 2016. We have done about 3,080 of close of revenues. Now, coming to uh, uh, 2017, I think we are expecting internally about 8 to 10 percent growth in revenue, but EBITDA margins would be better, around 9 to 10 percent minimum. And I think our profitability, because with uh, lower debt and uh, improvement in uh, interest costs and working capital overall, I think our substantial improvement in uh, profits uh, uh, to shareholders' profit actually improved substantially. I think. Yeah, Mr. Ramnath, my question to you was in terms of the order book at 60, uh, 6,584 crores, uh, which is executable over a period of 25 months. How much of it will come in on the financials in FY in, in, in calendar year 2017? Uh, this year we are expecting about 8 to 10 percent growth, which means about 3,000, 3,400 crores of uh, revenue we expect this year. But out of this book backlog, it may be 2,700, 2,600, that's how normally will flow out from that, and the balance should come from new work that we get this year. Okay. All right, Mr. Ramna, thank you for speaking to BTV and sharing the details as well. So, 8-9% growth is what the management is expecting in terms of a top line and bottom line is concerned. If you talk about from 2017 perspective, currently the stock has been trading under pressure with cuts of almost 5.5-6% as we speak. In fact, let's slip into a short break. Up next, we will discuss the upcoming crushing season as well as the price outlook of sugar with Abhinash Varma, the Director General at ISMA. Please stay tuned.
This is where it all begins. The business world sets into motion with the opening bell, setting the tone for the trading day. That's when we get you the view that matters. From crucial market cues to trade calls, join Samina Hirani for the sharpest analysis. Dealing room. More than 20 years of unmatched experience. How would you summarize the achievements of your ministry and your government? Crony capitalism. How much do you think that problem has been dealt with? A sharp understanding of Indian politics, economy and bureaucracy. Some amount of unrest for job growth and job creation. Do you think this poses a political risk? Cutting edge reporting and well thought analysis. Stay on top of the game with one of India's most well-connected journalists, Siddharth Zarabi. They know the market like the back of their hands. We have to look where the opportunity is. They study every move. We have to figure out how to channel our own savings into productive use. Every fluctuation. The market has a funny way of changing track very quickly. India has always been a stock-specific market. And they are sharing their wisdom. Their expertise, their insight. Indian market has outperformed uh, most of the regional market. India has a very attractive demographic picture. Get market tips and tricks from the very best in the game. Hey, I am very bullish on India. Track the biggest movers of the day. Stocks that are the biggest winner and the biggest loser. Stocks that markets are talking about. Get the sharpest and the most insightful analysis from fundamental to technical. Catch market movers. This is where it all begins. Welcome back here watching Corporate Eye. Let's shift focus to where sugar counters are concerned and see what they are doing in trade as we speak. Let's pull up a Bajaj.